hello welcome to the vent clip kit tutorial if you've stumbled upon this video you can purchase a kit in the description so let's jump right into it everything that your kit is going to include is shown here and you are going to need a few supplies a clipboard and some sharp scissors some type of strong glue and a fine tooth comb so starting the project, we're going to attach all the pre-cut strands to a dowel. And by doing this, you're gonna fold it evenly in half, lay it over top the dowel, and then pull those two loose ends through the loop that you created. Go ahead and pull that tight. You want it to be very secure to the dowel. And we're just going to complete all the strands that are included. So there should be five total. Once all your strands are on, go ahead and just re-tighten them up, make sure everything's secure on there and even, and it should look something like this. So go ahead and grab your clipboard, we're going to just attach it. I will say you can also use a traditional style clipboard, it doesn't have to be one with an open clip like this. So jumping into the first knot, we're doing a square knot. So go ahead and separate all your strands and find the four most center strands. Taking the two outer, past the left, over the center, and then the right, over, behind, and through that loop you created. Should look something like this, and then we're going to pull it tight. Make sure you keep the center very secure. This part is not being tied whatsoever. We are just tying a knot around these strands. So to complete the knot, we're gonna do the same exact thing, just start on the right this time. So go over the center, and then on the left, over, behind, and through. It'll look something like this. Pull it tight, and make sure you're keeping that center stable. Using your um, middle and your ring finger to secure it really helps should look something like that and now we're gonna move on to the next knot which is the half hitch so splitting your piece in half you should have five strands here and we're gonna find our leader cord so that one that I'm holding at an angle and starting with the first strand behind you're going to go up around and then through the loop you created Make sure you're keeping that leader cord at a taut angle um, to create this, this line that we're gonna be making with this half hitch. So do that twice. Up, through, pull tight. Once, and one more time. And that is the half hitch. Keeping your cords that you've already tied kind of off to the side is really helpful as well. And go ahead and continue with the next two. Now that you've completed that set of half hitch, you'll see that it creates a line. So that's gonna be one side of our V design. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the left side. Find your leader cord, which is always the first cord in the line. Hold it at that taut angle. 
and you're going to go up over around and through pull tight at an angle and do it one more time up around and through and it is going to feel a little different than it did on the right side because you are going in a different direction but it's a, the same um, movement it's the same sequence after doing the knot a bit it will start to feel a lot more familiar so don't worry if you're feeling like it is feeling odd or not the same as the other side it definitely takes some getting used to so continue on with that row and then we will meet up the two leader cords in the middle Now at this point you should have both of your two lines you can straighten them out a little bit even them and you'll see that we have a gap here so we're going to connect these two with one final half hitch and complete our V and now we're going to go ahead and do another row of half hitch on each side so again, it's the same exact sequence we just did. The only thing we need to do really focus on this time is making sure the knots are even but tight. So they're lined up with that first row that we tied. And we don't want there to be a gap there. We want this to be secure. We want it to look clean. So focus on getting it tight up next to that cord. And if you need to adjust as you go, that is really helpful. At this point, all of your knots should be tied. Everything should be secure. We're going to trim the loose ends now. And keep in mind, this is going to be in your car on your vent, so we don't want these to be very long. We do want the fringe to be pretty short. So go ahead and just do a rough trim of all those loose ends. About a half inch to an inch is perfect. Once you have it all trimmed the way you like, you can go ahead and now brush out the fringe, make sure everything's nice and soft, and after that, do one last final clean trim just to make sure everything looks nice and uh, symmetrical. She calls me day and night. I'm sorry, girl, you just don't make me feel right. Okay, now at this point we are going to glue on the actual vent clip. So flip over your piece and with your glue of choice, whether that's hot glue, super glue, um, go ahead and glue on your clip. Don't forget to check the direction to make sure that it aligns with your car, whether it's vertical or horizontal. And just place that on there, let that dry overnight. 
and it should look something like this when it's completed. Thanks for watching, and if you want to check out any other kits, they will all be linked in the description. Bye!